Hi, welcome to the Virgus Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. I'm an outside Virgus. So I'm just out a little bit in the country, but I'm with Virgus native Polly Molson. Thank you Hi. for joining me today, Polly. Good you know, I always see you at the craft fairs. <laughs> I see you at the flea market, mm -hmm. and um, I've always heard the Lo Lumi sisters yes. story. Um, <laughs> Polly makes rugs, and she makes beautiful rugs. You and your sister Donna do yes. a very nice mm -hmm. job. And tell me how you got started. I'm kind of interested a little bit on the certification of your looms and the whole oh, thing. Okay. Well. We started with old looms. This is from 1937 and 1926, and they're registered in the National um, Registration of the Historical Society. Okay, so the actual looms are yeah, not. They, they are have, these family they looms? Uh, the first one is Annie. It is, is yeah. Annie yep, is. Yep, okay. They have a number with them, and yeah. And so you grew up with a uh, with a mother that N no no mom got it in about ninth. I was just about out of high school. Okay, so and she I got did, her first loom right, and started right, making rugs. Right. Okay, and then she had sold them uh, in Julie's shop there in okay. town for a while, and then when she passed away, Donna. Yeah. Got the loom. Okay. And I went to an auction sale and bought one very similar. All right. So. And so it was kind of something that you could do together. Right. And, right. And, and oh, learn yes. together. We had to learn together. And we learned together. Because I we, imagine there were mistakes. Oh, <laughs> lots of mistakes because we never learned from our mother. Oh, okay. She didn't share with us because she did this during the nighttime hours. Oh, well, sure. When, yeah. we when were you guys busy, were in bed. <laughs> right, right. And raising families and stuff. So. Right. And so then once you started making rugs and got into it, it has expanded, and how many looms do you have now, Polly? <laughs> I have seven working looms. Seven working yep. looms, and so, but you had an interesting analogy to that. It's like, okay, some people have seven different tractors and exactly. seven different um, whatever, <laughs> and you've got the seven different looms for the different yep. products that you have. Different you make. colors and different yeah. widths, and uh, okay. there are different styles. Some are Union 36, and and Weaver's friends, and they, they are a little different. Okay, now we're standing in front of what you call a bale of <laughs> salvage. salvage. Okay, and these are, I mean, it's just incredible, the, um, these material yes. things here. And so you get this in. Tell me, tell me the process of how you order okay. this bale. And well, I was gonna <laughs> just, I'm intrigued here. This, see how it comes from one color into the next? Okay, yeah. So I just cut and separate. Oh, and so then, and then you cut, you make a ball mm -hmm. of the material of right. the certain kind. And then that's how you separate that out. And right. then this is what you end up using when mm -hmm. you make your rug. Yeah. Show me a finished rug okay. from this pro or finished product right here. All right. Okay. This one is all salvage. That's all from salvage. And okay. this one has cotton material in with it. Okay. And so this is all from something like mm -hmm. that and then made Correct. Okay. Yep. Very, very cool. All right, Polly, I've got a few questions here for you. <laughs> and so um, you get how long does it take? <laughs> I know this is a funny, uh, but that's what everybody wants to know. How long does it take you to make a rug like that? Um, this rug maybe took me less than two hours on the loom. This one maybe took me closer to three just because it has all the different colors and, and the deciding what goes next to it. Okay, and you said an interesting thing there, on the loom. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that's the time that it takes you once it you get started on the loom. But how many hours are in it beforehand? <laughs> I mean, you well, have this bale of this salvage is, that this shows will, up and... This will take me a week to two weeks to separate and put in my different containers and separate the colors and Okay, yep. and and do you have any help with that? Does Henry yes, come in? Yes, Henry help? will help. Polly's <laughs> husband Henry, he's active in it, and oh, yes. uh, he makes his own quilts too. Yes. I mean, we need to get yes. a story on him sometime too. So, Polly, once you've made your rugs, mm -hmm. where are people able to um, see you at and okay. get them from? Well, first of all, Looney Days, of Vergas. course. Looney Days in Vergas, <laughs> the best spot to find things. Uh, Pelican at Art in the Park. Okay. Uh, sometimes at Shady Hollow at the flea market. Um. Barnesville Potato Days. Okay. Perm Harvest Fest. Um, and then that's a few off the top of my head. <laughs> a, few of the, a few of them. Yeah. And, then, okay. and of course, here at the home. At just home. call my home number. So somebody can give oh, you a yes. call and yes. say, all right, so if I give you a call and say, Polly, I really like this yes. color inside this veil. <laughs> or I want a rug that's uh, six feet long and 28 inches wide. Why? Right. Then, I know I've right. been able to do that for mm -hmm. you, and, and, and it's really nice um, right. because you do have the bales all separated yeah. out and, and are able to do that. So, okay, um, if I would buy a rug like this, mm -hmm. I, what I would want to know, are they washable? Oh, absolutely. Machine washable, short cycle, um, 
line dry, and when you shake them, you shake them sideways like this, not the long way, okay. the short way. And yeah. of course, there and, you go. and then they've got that that they. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so do you have some of uh, you? Know, I mentioned your family. Do you have some of your family that's involved in doing different things with the salvage? <laughs> and show me some of what you got going with yes, that. Yes, my daughter Joanna does, and her daughter Jasmine. Okay. Uh, Donna, my sister. Carol, my sister. Uh, my great niece Amanda. So, so I get this image of, um, okay, do you have like um, days where you all get together and you're sitting at your looms and you're working uh, on, that doesn't happen? No, no. <laughs> I'm thinking Amish. Well, we, we, just, we just call and say, I just placed an order. Yeah, know? okay. And so the, and yeah. then, but you're able to help each other out. Oh, now, yes. Now, when you buy a, a mm -hmm. big bale like this, tell me what the process is. How does, how do you, you get on the phone from where or who it, or? Uh, Great Northern in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Okay. And they set up the trucking and have it delivered to um, a to your home. Yes. And then mm -hmm. and then it's just like a bale of like well you're very familiar from farming you know and then <laughs> well, you take the tractor. It, it, and you wait, get the... This one was 1,200 pounds. Okay. Because I had some warp also sent with it. Okay. The thread. The thread that goes but, with yeah, it. But. And so then do um, like you and Donna buy the bales together or do, is she able to get materials and stuff um, you work on that together? We tried that. I, I asked, I asked yeah. her, you know, yeah. but she's got... Uh, she's got her way of doing right, it and you've right. got your mm -hmm. way of doing it. Well the colors that come from this oh. are just are just incredible and so I think anybody mm -hmm. that would want to have any kind of um, <laughs> color that they color would scheme, want, yes. um, all just they would have to do. anything you can think of. I'm interested in what you've got here too, Polly. Mm -hmm. um, you make some... Um, yes, Joanna, my daughter makes these. She makes these They're and just so you're actually able to small take... pieces of rug okay. and uh, binds them and puts a handle oh, on them. Oh, nice. And so those are And this those is are out of some convenient. of the fabric that we get from uh, Princeton. I also get fabric. So besides the salvage mm -hmm. here, you, you just find yep. the fabric too. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm really interested in um, seeing what your loom looks like. And so mm -hmm. we're going to take a quick break and then I'm um, going to maybe have you sit down at that and we'll be right back. <laughs> What's my favorite station? My favorite. My favorite. My favorite radio station is... Wait, 1041. Love it. All right, we are in the loom room now, Polly, right? right. <laughs> I love it. As we came into this, uh, it's a, called the loom room. It's called the and loom what, room. what I see here you're doing is you're actually working on the loom. And mm -hmm. I honestly have never seen this before. You, your thread you mentioned is... Warp. Is warp. And, and it's all made out of what? Cotton, polyester. Cotton and polyester, mm -hmm. okay. And so Very then... Very durable. So that is and what you need for for your rugs right. and and so um, okay. look at all the different looms that she's got set up here and I am just very intrigued. This here. is called a Union Thirty Six, kind of the standard. Okay. <laughs> the basic. And so you get started on that and what what I noticed about that and and we talked about is how how nice it is you can set it up and you can work on it and mm -hmm. leave it and come back and leave then it'll do come the back. same. Yep. Now, are you hoping to pass this um, on to your grandchildren? Yes, they try very hard to work with this. They do. They're just not quite tall enough yet. Okay, and so I imagine, so you get that through okay, there. Okay, so that stick is empty, and I get another one here. And so you fill these before mm -hmm. you get started, yep. and, um, and then you just have them on. Okay, so something like that, like that mm -hmm. and then that's filled through. Have you ever considered giving classes? Um, not really. Not really. Well, that might be something that, you have to. What we have here is one you made out of t-shirts, and you have one here that you made out of socks. Well, that's what I buy up the looms, so I take care of the competition. There you go. <laughs> buy all the looms that you can. Well, Polly, I really appreciate you showing us this age-old uh -huh. tradition thing that just is something that everybody yeah. really likes even now yet today. And so thanks for joining us on yes. the Virgus Show, and thanks for being part of the community. You're welcome. Glad you have a coming. good day in Virgus. Thank you.